What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install, um, or actually uh, start, get started with creating themes on Kaladi, and uh, if you are, or have worked with me, you will have a Heroku server, and I'll run you through how all this works. Um, first, you want to make sure you have the LTS version downloaded of Node.js on your machine, and uh, you want to download Heroku tool belt, as this is very important too. And uh, once you've done that, uh, all you have to do is log in your Heroku account by typing in Heroku login in your command line. Um, and it'll prompt you to your email address and your password and whatnot, and you'll be logged in. And uh, if you go back in Heroku and you do recall the server you set up with me, um, you will just take the name of that server and type in Heroku get colon clone dash A, the name of your server. And you will change directories in that by typing in cd. And very important, if you're on Mac OS, you will type in sudo npm install. And uh, if you're on Windows, you don't have to type in sudo. What it'll do is it'll install all these dependencies. And while it's doing that, um, make sure um, you go underneath the settings tab in your Heroku server or your Heroku app and um, reveal uh, config vars as this is very important, and I'll show you why uh, once these dependencies finish installing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this folder through my uh, favorite text editor, which is Visual Studio Code. Um, all this is doing is just opening up the folder. Oops, my bad. Oops. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. And uh, all you have to do is um, create a new file and name it .env. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these values and copy and paste them here. And for the production value, just make sure you make it false. session secret we'll just take that value here and we're gonna save that file and once we go back in here we can type in npm run test and when we type in this command we have our server running on our local machine and this is the first step to getting everything working make sure when you click sign in you have the ability to authorize and log in and if you don't um, make sure you go into the Discord developers page and uh, click on your application and underneath LWAL, um, be sure that you have this redirect, um, HTTP colon localhost, this I'll put in the description. But you want to make sure you have that, it's very important for testing and uh, um, if that's all set up correctly you should be able to log in. Now, this may look boring and ugly, obviously. Um, so for us to add some more spice to it, um, I'm gonna use the Bootstrap Light Theme. This is actually a theme I've created, um, kind of a boilerplate to getting started with making themes on the Kaladi platform. And uh, all we have to do, uh, if we want to use this, is type in git clone custom and it will make a folder called custom and if we type in npm run test again go back in the local host 3000 as you can see the theme is different and we also do have the ability to edit things so if we go underneath custom pages um, we can edit the header so we could put like hello world save that so you can see it changes in real time, so you can kind of get started and you can change some of the CSS if you choose to. So you can go underneath your assets and change some of the CSS here. So uh, let's see what I can change for you. Um, all instances of this color blue, let's just replace it and just make it black. 
So if we change all these to black, it will change the colors all to black. So you guys kind of get the point. But that should be a great way to get started. And um, in the case, if you did clone, um, if you did clone this theme, be sure that uh, when you go inside the uh, custom folder, that you don't have um, the. It's actually not going to show, but you don't you don't want to the git trace on it. So just type in rm rf git, and then you should have no problems publishing it back to Heroku. So if we wanted to publish this to Heroku, all we need to do is type in the following commands. And then there, we have the website all pushed to Heroku. So hopefully this helped you guys out, and let me know if you ever need any help. Uh, all my contact information and whatnot will be in the description. And yep, good luck.